Hello Petsy as well for your looking well. Miss Sabrina Bewitched here bringing you another beauty spell this week using the brand new movie collection from Sugary Cosmetics. Sugary Cosmetics is a really awesome brand. They have a lot of different like wee themed products. They're usually themed around food and candy and things like that. It's really, it's really, really fun. So I managed to get my hand on the Pop Color Palette which the shades in it are absolutely to die for. You also get this very large mirror which is perfect. You can blue tack this to the wall or whatever and see. How stunning you are, even from far away. As you can see, there's a lot of pastel sort of rainbow shades here, which are really, really, really pretty. And they're really, really pigmented, and it's a super affordable. If you look at the titles as well, like Peter Spider is obviously inspired by Spider-Man. There's theater, Jeeper, action, premiere. It's all movie-themed titles, you know what I mean? But yes, this pod is absolutely stunning. I also managed to get my hands on the Ticket Face Duo Blush and Bronzer palette. They come part in two houses as well. You get this lovely wee compact mirror and a sort of shimmery blush and a bronzer colour. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial and see how they perform. So I'm going to be starting off with the shade Premier, which is this sort of deep purple shade at the bottom. I'm just going to start carving out that new crease without this tape falling off and ruining the whole thing. I'm just going to start carving out my crease with this deep purple shade. It's stunning. I'm then going to blend that out using shade Gravity, which is this light sort of lavender shade. There's a slight shimmer to it, but it's mostly not. It's like it's like a matte with sort of like a glittery finish. It's weird. It's like a hybrid between the two, but it's very pretty. I'm just gonna slip that out a wee bit more. To add a little bit more depth, I'm going to mix a little bit of Jewel with a little bit of Premier and put that right on my outer corner. There we go. I think I've said this before, but this is a great trick if you really don't want to do um, winged liner, because you can just be kind of like, well, it's smoked out, nobody can tell, you know. For the centre of my lid, I'm going to go into what I think is the star of the palette, and in my opinion, my favourite shade, which is Dragonfly, and I'm not sure if it'll show up on camera, but it basically has this weird sort of shift to it. It sort of looks purple and green, it's like almost like an oil slick, it's so pretty. And the fact that it goes on even without having to wet the brush or anything, it just, it's a good, good shadow. It's a good shadow. I feel like this is one I'm going to end up hitting pan on. <laughs> so I'm just bringing that sort of halfway through the centre of my lid. Should I do a video where I get my budgie to pick my makeup? Would that be fun? Sound off in the comments below. Carved out my lid a little with some concealer. And I'm going to pop shade theatre which is this sort of lovely Tiffany blue, like mint color, right on the very center of my lid. I also think doing this will bring out the green a lot more in the dragonfly shade. For the set very inner corner, I'm gonna be wrecking the place. I'm gonna be taking shade Peter Spider, which is this sort of nude champagne shade. I'm just gonna pop that right in my inner, 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 inner corner. It's really a bit of pizzazz, you know. Underneath my eye, I'm going to be dipping into shade Premier and just smoking that out underneath to give a good sultry look. We all love a purple sultry look. Well, I do anyway, and that's the main thing. I also got the Ticket Face Duo Blush and Bronzer palette, which is super cute. So open her up. There's a little pink colour blush. It has a slight, slight shimmer to it, but it's not like really overbearing, which is really pretty. And this sort of um, nice tan, chocolatey, contoury shade. So the blush is called Date Night, and this one is called Makeup and Chill. I've never actually tried bronzers before, but I'll put a little bit on. I don't want to do too much because I have contoured, but we'll see how it looks. It does sort of help warm up my contour a wee bit. I'm not mad. The good thing as well about this is it's very much so pocket size, so you could just take this on the go. Going to dip into shade Date Night, and that's gonna be my blush. Yeah, she's really pretty. <laughs> Put a little bit on my nose. You wanna look like you're sick, but like cute sick, you know? Like, tch. For my highlighter today, I'm actually gonna dip into this shade Peter Spider. It's, it's a lovely champagne colour, so I think it'd be quite a pretty highlight. I also like to spray a little bit of satin spray before I put highlighter on because I just kind of find it sticks to the face a bit better. I'm not sure if you can see on camera. It's pretty. It's like a nice sort of 
natural shine. Right, well I'm gonna go through on a costume, some lashes, and come back with my final thoughts. So pets, these are my final thoughts on the collection. I absolutely love this palette. I think the pigments came out absolutely stunning. I'm in love with this dragonfly shade. I think I'm gonna hit pan on it pretty soon. I love the way it shifts from purple to green. I personally never came across a shadow with like a really good duo cream color like that, so it's amazing. Uh, I love all the vibes. It'd be great for like rainbow looks. It's perfect for pride season. It's almost pride in Belfast, so I'm all biz. But yeah, it's an absolutely gorgeous palette and it's worthwhile picking up. The blusher, I think, is stunning as well. It's a lovely sort of nude pink. It's not like really, really like in your face, you know, but it's it's a, it's, it's sort of like, it's a nice pink, but it's not too pink and it's not too like nude if that makes sense. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade and I absolutely love the bronzer shade as well. I've never actually really tried bronzer in my makeup before, but this has made me want to start, you know what I mean? If you want to get your hands on this collection, it is available on sugarycosmetics.com. It's absolutely stunning and go support the brand because they are unreal, they're amazing. And I can't wait to see what they come out with next. All right, pets, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. I'm doing videos every week and being an awful good girl and trying to keep churning out the content, you know what I mean? Because we're all bored during lockdown, so I may as well do something. But until next time, stay safe, stay home, and wash your hands. Mwah. Love you lots. Bye.